Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Mona Lisa and I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos. So if that sounds like a bit of you, then click on that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload. So today I have a Zara haul. I have got a few orders here that I have been waiting um, so I could do a big haul for you um, and there is still another package so there'll be another Zara video coming on this channel very soon but if you're interested in a few pieces from Zara to update your wardrobe coming up to spring then keep on watching this is like one of my favorite videos to film for you guys i love a good zara haul i've got a few pieces up on that rail as well that i want to show you um, and a new brand that has come onto my radar a few of you guys have noticed it on my instagram um so head over there at mona's eyes beauty where i share a little bit more of my behind the scenes everyday life and style um but i'm gonna save that for another video so um let me talk about the top that I'm wearing at the moment. It is a sweetheart neckline and it is so popular right now. Um, it's actually a very thick knit and I love that. Um, so that in the spring cooler days where in the UK it's still a bit chilly, this is just great to have on um, underneath a light jacket and it's still thick so it is going to keep you warm. I'm obsessed with this neckline. I think it's absolutely flattering if you're someone with a bigger bust then this is just perfect because it's really going to accentuate your bust area your curves i do recommend going a size up in this because i did see someone else um, mention that this top comes out quite small so i have this in a large and i'm so thankful that i did get it in a large because i am a double d so if it was any smaller i think it would just kind of look really tight on me but at the moment it just feels lovely it's in a lovely oat milk color as well and i just find that really flattering um kind of like spring summer i do have a little bit more of a tan so not today i think today i'm actually quite pale but um yeah you can wear this on like a, a summer's day where it's a bit more chilly in the evening going out for dinner with a nice skirt um it's yeah I just think it's perfect for that um and it's really affordable as well I think it's only 27 pounds I don't know off the top of my head um and I don't have the receipt here with me so yeah I will leave the prices of everything on the screen but yeah super affordable and I'll have everything down below linked as well so the next top that I got, I really feel like I need your guys' opinion on this because I'm really not sure. It's so not my style, but um, I got it because, oh, this does have the price. It was $27.99 and it is that infamous Yale jumper. I got it in a size small. I actually did want to get it in a size large so that it could be ultra large but i've got some other sweatshirts coming in a large soon so i just didn't want too many oversized sweatshirts um i really thought i don't know i just really like the color i kind of like the slogan we're all working from home right now and i just thought this could be just a really nice um elevated loungewear look um that i could just wear in the house and the small is actually I think is fine um like i said i'll be trying these on and if i feel like anything needs mentioning then i will let you guys know but um yeah i just really really like this i'm um, just like i said by the looks of it it looks really well made i really like the stitching like they really have thought into it like you can probably see at the back there there's like a seam um the Yale looks really good. It's like stitched in. It's not printed or anything like that. Um, and it's a beautiful colour. Yeah, I'm such... I wish I went to Yale. And now we all get to have a little piece of Yale University in our, um, in our wardrobe. So, yeah. I might need to start digging out my own university sweatshirt. Since this whole kind of like varsity university college trend is so in right now so yeah i absolutely love that 
but let me know if I should keep it or not. I'm really trying to do this whole elevated wardrobe. I'm trying to amp up my style just a little bit um, and not be too safe and too casual. Um, I'll I think I'll talk about that in a whole different video. Um, okay, so next up, going with the whole, you know, preppy theme i got this blue oversized shirt i love the zara oversized shirts and i got one in white a couple of years ago and i absolutely love it i wear it on holiday i wear it on the beach as like a cover-up i wear it with shorts jeans it's so great so when i saw this blue one it's like a blue striped like boyfriend style shirt quite literally reminds me of my boyfriend shirt um i just had to get it it does go up to a double xl which i always think that means the sizes are a lot smaller than usual don't quote me on this it's just my personal experience so i got it in a large but now thinking about it i should have got it in xl because this goes up to xxl you know what i mean so if you really want that oversized look then this is great um i've seen so many people just wearing shirts in the house and leggings with a cute little crop top and that's how i'm going to be styling this is with cute little crop tops leggings whilst i'm in the house and then when the summer comes like a cute little crop top with jean shorts and hopefully on the beach with a bikini underneath it's just there's like so many different ways and i absolutely love it um and it has a curved um, hem at the bottom. And I think that's what is nice when you get an oversized men's shirt made for women. Because for men it's usually that flat line bottom hem. And I just find that really unflattering where this has a curved split bottom hem. Do you see that? Um, so it's going to be super figure flattering. Next up, I bought some jeans. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea. Buying jeans whilst we've all been in lockdown for basically a year. I know I've put on weight and I just don't know. Like, buying jeans, it's just... I don't know why. But I did get this in a size up because I thought if I ever go back to my normal weight, I can always tailor it down but it's really hard to get a small size and try and tailor it up and i really hate wearing small jeans and feeling fat in them like really tight jeans that i'm trying to squeeze into and i just feel fat for me i just feel like buy a size up feel comfortable and then when i go back to my normal weight i can just tailor them so um i got these wide leg jeans from zara i love this kind of style denim i think i have this denim in like this kind of shade in a few other things it's like my favorite shade um but i don't have it in a wide leg ripped style i have really not been wearing ripped jeans recently for the past couple of years just because i've always seen it as not very smart and where i go and the people that i see it's always a smart occasion and i guess lockdown has really boosted the whole casual outfits and being a bit more you know comfortable and the whole loungewear phenomenon has kind of really taken over and I think I won't be really going back to my normal working life for a while so I thought I could actually wear these now and be okay with it but these are probably more smart I would probably dress it up more smarter than um than they are do you know what I mean but I just thought, you know what, it's 2021, it's time to step it up and wear things that I actually like and just dress up, like why not? And wear the things I've been wanting to wear but have been afraid to because I'm not going to lie, jeans like this are not great for people that are shorter and have a curvy figure. It really, I think, doesn't emphasise our assets, meaning our curves, our hips, our bum and I've got a smaller waist so it'll be interesting to try these on and just seeing how this works and I thought for £30 it was 29.99 I thought let me just try um and if not I can return them but yeah it's got a raw hem at the bottom as well I quite like that distress look as well which means it'll probably be easy to turn them up if I need to because like I said I am a bit short I'm a 5'5 five five, so yeah 
I really like them. I really do. I've seen so many people wear them now and I thought, you know what? It's my turn. I'm going to get it. Stop being too conservative. Let's go wild with the ripped jeans. Oh. <sighs> yeah, that is me. Okay, so I think it's actually easier to show you the jeans like this in the mirror. Um, love them. I definitely, I don't know. I'm not sure they are super long for me. Fit me <laughs> a bit better. So yeah, I think I might just return these and invest in jeans that, you know, come in petite because I just don't think there's any point in wasting money um, getting these tailored right now when I can just buy the perfect fit and so again this is a more casual look it is not really me but I saw Susie from Hello October with this shacket I've never owned a shacket in my life uh, I just I don't know it's just never really appealed to me and I saw this and I thought oh my gosh I haven't got anything like this in my wardrobe and she made it look so good and I thought to myself okay I need to like up my game and not be too samey like i love the colors in this it is a beautiful shacket in this gorgeous print i feel like this print does so well with me because it has the browns it has the cream it has this light gray which almost looks like blue and i love that for spring um it was originally 49.99 at 50 pounds but i managed to grab it in the sale and i still think it is in the sale and this is just a great spring summer jacket so in the spring i'll be wearing it more with jeans and a crop top maybe and then when it comes to summer definitely denim shorts a bodysuit and it's just going to be a nice cover-up um i love the material and it could work for autumn winter as well i got this in a size medium i'm not sure how this is going to look on me um so i'm going to try this on and hopefully you guys can tell me if it's a yay or a nay okay so the next two items um are leather i love a bit of vegan leather i love how the industry has completely remarketed pleather to vegan leather because i just think it encourages people more to buy vegan leather versus like the real thing and i really feel like pleather was just turning people off completely but vegan leather everybody seems to be jumping on board on that so well done marketing universe um so you've probably seen these in a previous video of mine i bought these leggings um gosh it was in 2020 it before christmas um and i bought these le leather leggings and i love them so much that when they went in the sale i thought i'm gonna buy them again because they're just a staple i love this look i don't know i think if something works for you and it's great for your figure which the other ones were it fitted my body fitted my shape great price i i just thought why not get it again and have these in my wardrobe they're just really great it has a concealed side zip as well um no pockets so no extra bulk i love this kind of um kind of crocodile effect to it it just really upgrades everything um and it has like a very shiny material and i just think you can never go wrong having a really great pair of fitted leather trousers I got these in a size large because they didn't have a medium and I actually don't mind it being a bit big because like I said I've been in lockdown for nearly a year and I know I've put on weight so hopefully those should fit fingers crossed um and then I got this pair of brown trousers leather trousers because I just love the color brown and again I could probably wear it for a couple more weeks and then these are going to come back out um autumn winter 2021 and I love the fact that they've got these kind of hoops in them as well um so you can wear a belt with them it's a beautiful chocolate brown and brown is just very in this year like trend wise chocolate brown is the one um and these are kind of categorized more as a legging and it does have a zip at the bottom which is great now i did watch someone else's video who bought these exact same leather trousers and they said to size up it's recommended um because they are super super tight and small now she wears i think a size six to eight and she bought a medium and she said that 
wouldn't fit her now on my bottom half i'm like a 10 to 12 considering on the trouser and i got them in a large so if a medium didn't fit her a large is definitely not going to fit me so let's see maybe she got an odd one because they look big enough to me like they would fit maybe her one was like a bad batch i don't know so let's hope like she said she couldn't it was really tight putting them on i don't know but i just really love the color i think they're great again a staple in my wardrobe um something i actually don't have i've clear purged a lot out and now 2021 i just want like really sophisticated but lovely clothes that make me feel lovely i think this pandemic if, if it's to anybody is just to wear what you want to wear feel good about yourself every day don't take any day for granted and that's exactly what i'm planning on doing um i want to wear these clothes to make me feel good i don't want to always be in my pajamas in tracky bottoms and just feel like a slob no i'm getting up every day i'm putting on my makeup i'm getting dressed up and that just makes me feel so much more better because i feel more productive and that in turn makes me feel better again so it's it's a great win-win scenario for me i know not everybody can financially afford it but i highly recommend like purging your wardrobe getting rid of everything that you don't love and just having things in there that you love to wear and don't save it for a special occasion wear it today so guys i really hope you enjoyed this zara haul if you did please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below any of your favorite pieces from zara i'm placing a another order god can you believe i've got so many things in my basket right now that i just need to click send um so let me know what you guys are loving and let me know some of your style tips for spring summer what is a staple in my wardrobe that i need to get i need to get rid of that puffer jacket i think i'm so over puffer jackets now like the sun is shining today it's completely uplifted my spirits and i'm so excited for new fashion um Okay guys, so that is it from me. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.